Hey guys, I'll give you a little update. Uh, I got my studio basically set up again, which it hasn't been set up in a long time. I don't know, I can't turn this around, so I can't see, but it gets a drift. Anyway, uh, it's, I know I'm doing a lot better than a lot of people in this situation. That I try to think about every day. Um, see so what the date is. Now the 15th will be my four month mark of being off. And I've definitely gotten better. So it's going in the right direction, but that's not to say later or tomorrow I'll say I've gotten worse. It's just too up and down to really say, you know. Oh. I know I'm getting better because this is the second time I went to a restaurant. Mind you, it's the same restaurant I went to a few days back. Small not very bright, not loud, and there's not many people that go there. So, stimulus was, you know, not as much, and, uh, I mean, my anxiety was still bad, but it wasn't panic. I haven't had a panic attack this whole entire trip, so my anxiety is definitely getting worse, so... My receptors must be starting to recept to a point. Now, next week it might be way worse. At least I know what's real and what I can expect. But there's nothing like, there's just nothing like this. Just the other night, I mean, I thought I was gonna die again. And then next day, it seems like the the I'm going so up and down now. It's not like I'm having windows for a long time and then waves for a long time and short windows. I'm going I'm going uh feeling decent, feeling horrible, decent, horrible, decent, horrible. It is so up and down. But right now I'm okay. You know, I've always felt like garbage in my life, so I don't expect much. I just want to be able to go out, do my job, come home write music or whatever, you know. Uh, my mind's still a mess. It's a lot of, you know, the flashing in my head and my eyes is still really bad. Uh, neuropathy in my feet and hands, that doesn't bother me so much, even though it's pretty bad, but that's the least of my worries. Uh, the brain fog and I've always had brain fog, but this is pretty bad. And uh, the DP and DR are still really bad, but I think it's gotten a little better because I'm able to go into public. Like I went to the restaurant and post office today. I didn't drive, but I went there and I felt human. I felt like me, you know, just a really sick me. Anxiety's still buzzing through me, so I wouldn't, s there's still a lot of anxiety. That's the one thing I need to get through. Everything else I can almost deal with. It's just the anxiety makes everything worse. My vision, between my anxiety and my vision being really bizarre, which is the DP and DR stuff. You know, I mean, I'm looking at myself. I still look at my hands and once in a while and go, God, you know, this doesn't feel like mine. It's certainly better than it was, though. I mean, not long ago, I was just yelling about the pressure in my head. Which, mind you, is way better than it was. Although it's gotten worse after I moved. Just yesterday and today, it's still really, it's still pretty bad. And I expect it to stay there for a while. But it still wasn't as bad as it was before. Um, seriously, moving was one of the... Uh, I'm glad I wasn't in worse shape. I, I, I wouldn't even know how I would have done any of this. I mean, it, I, 
I had to help, you know, we had movers uh, pack most of the truck. And uh, my girlfriend's parents came down to Texas and drove back with us. So they drove the truck and we drove the car with, with the cats and stuff like that. Really lucky. But uh, we didn't have movers to move the stuff in. And being in benzo withdrawal recovery, I knew by helping I was going to put myself back. I think I did to a point because the pressure in my head came back pretty bad. But, uh, it's okay. It's still not as bad as it was. So I'm hoping from, you know, getting through this week and getting some stuff done. Because right now I don't have to move anything heavy anymore, finally. After yesterday. I got a few more trips. We have a garage at this apartment. And it's kind of it's kind of a little ways to walk to. Not that far, but enough. And it's really cold here. So just dealing with that in general... You know, it takes a toll. But it's still better than the heat right now. I couldn't take the heat. That just made me completely nauseous. The cold wakes me up, at least. It hurts. I'd rather be in pain than be psychologically messed up. But anyway, I mean, things are going okay. I can complain and complain and complain. But in reality, I'm doing better than a lot of people. It's, uh... Functioning still hard. Reading things is still hard. My my eyes are still more blurry than they should be. You know, i got to hold things back pretty far to kind of see them. Computer still messes with my eyes, but i got to do it because it's part of my job. But in general, I'm not even four months out and I'm doing better than, you know, I'm pretty excited about that. I got my, you know, since I'm able to get my studio back up, I gotta kind of be quiet for a while so I can gauge my neighbors to see what they can tolerate. I'm never too loud though, or at least not for long. Usually about 20 minutes a day. The rest will be on headphones. You know, playing guitar, I keep that pretty low. But anyway, uh, I. Anybody thinking about moving while they're in withdrawal at all, the worst part is the drive itself versus the actual moving, the moving the stuff. Like, while I was moving the stuff, I felt okay, but my brain was racing so much while I was doing it, I was able to do it. But once you stop, your head doesn't stop for hours. It's really scary. I mean, my girlfriend's parents, I mean, they were really cool the whole way. They know what's going on. And I'd try to explain it, and they'd be like, no, nah, don't, you don't have to explain it. You know, we'll do it. We didn't go out to any restaurants because I couldn't handle it. I mean, and they wanted to, but they, they really helped me out. I, mean, I, lo I love that, fam that family a lot. <sighs> I've had nothing but support, and I know a lot of people don't get that. So I'm very lucky. Oh. Uh, I still want to see my family. They're not about 50 minutes away, not far. 50, not 15. But it's so cold and I don't feel well. You know, it's hard to get in the car and, you know, trying to get my job back up and running and everything. Got to get money worked out first. But I'll see them soon enough. Holidays are going to be brutal. Not sure what I'm going to do. I might just stay, stay home this time this round I think they'll understand oh uh, I've been eating more which is good again I, like the last time I went to the restaurant I had eggs uh, hash browns which for some reason potatoes don't bother me hash browns and uh, bacon I usually get three slices of bacon I only eat two but this time I had uh pancakes with me and I'm I know there's no way I could eat all those but I took one bite that's <laughs> pretty sad but it was good but one bite I should survive 
But it seems like my body's tolerating food a little bit more because even then I, I couldn't do potatoes. But now I'm starting to be able to do potatoes a little bit. You know, especially at a restaurant, you never know what's gone and what. And I think I actually used a little of that processed butter. So we'll see how it goes. I mean, I still got the rest of the day to find out how, how that affects me. But uh, if my body starts buzzing really bad, I'll know it's the food. That's usually my main issue. My, my derealization gets worse. And my body will just buzz in waves. And so far I haven't had that in uh, like three weeks. But I've been eating really, really good. But it was hard to on the road. Not an easy task. I suggest never to move while you're in withdrawal. But I don't even know if it sets you back. I mean, it might help you. You know, getting your brain working. Who knows? Either way, I did it and it's done. So, again, thanks for watching. And, you know, I'll get back on to doing more videos and keeping on with the Benzo Buddy Board. And saying hey to everybody or trying to reply. Sorry I haven't been replying at all. It's been way too busy. It's been so much work. But anyway, uh, that's it. Um, you know, message me anytime. Uh, we'll talk soon. Later.